Sid believes some colonists have been kidnapped and taken to an abandoned mine on H-047-C. Go to H-047-C in the Raymov system. Called Means and Ends, Vetra Nix. Let's try that one next. And really quickly here, I'll try to... I can talk to you for a moment, if, see if there's anything new. I got the popcorn, and whatever Graxon is. Thank you. I owe Cora for letting me use her clearance. This'll be fun, like watching vids with Sid when she was little. Before I go there, let's check my terminal real quick. New project from PB to Writer. Hey, uh, I've got a new Remnant project in the works. It's gonna be big. Come say hi in my room on the Tempest, will ya? Acknowledge and archive. You surprised me from Reyes Vidal to Writer. Didn't think you're the type to shoot a man in the back. I may have hid my identity, but you concealed your true nature. If you think this is over, you're mistaken, my friend. You've only prolonged the inevitable. I'm Sloane Kelly. Pathfinder, don't expect these regularly, but one you didn't know, I'm keeping up mine to the bargain. Your outpost is safe from the Collective and the rest of the crazies in the Badlands. Sloane. Not completely crazy that Ryder turned around and shot in that situation, even given what happened so far, because uh, in that situation, he Ryder was with someone, they were they were going somewhere to meet someone, and they were ambushed and attacked. Surprise ambush doesn't really make it that unreasonable for you to turn around and attack. There's the husk. Tracking a remnant architect. More stuff for me. Alright, so where are we going for you? Ah, but we've got new systems to search now, do we? H O four seven C a new world. Curious about that. Can I visit my oops, that's where it was. Journal. Is the main mission taking me there, I wonder? It is. Eladen and H O four seven C are both listed as being new worlds. Interesting. Which one gets the uh, meter, I wonder, you know? Because we have a uh, viability. Something's waiting down here is probably being one of those places, right? Huh. Maybe I won't go there quite next. Let's go to the one someone that doesn't involve going there in net, uh, yet. The Velia system for the Arc Luencia? Let's try that. Yeah, that's in the middle of nowhere. I want to take care of all the places that are in the, middle, in the middle of nowhere for a little while, basically. Warping. Not many signals out here. Even that random radio noise we get from the Scourge is quieter. Eerie. So I'm picking up something. Something I'm noticing from looking at my frame rate stuff is that, uh, uh, so I've got a new graphics card now, and it runs great with a lot of different games. It's actually, specifically this game, it sometimes, yeah, we get, like, lower frame rates in the Galaxy Viewer, and, uh, when I start a conversation with a character, I think it's because, like, whenever I, whenever I zoom in to, to a conversation with a character, suddenly I see the frame rate drop by, like, 20 or more. I think it's because it's trying to load in the textures for everybody. And kind of struggling at that, right? Well, we're actually at like half frame rate right now. That's weird. For the galaxy view. It's just a handful of glowing... It's just like a handful of balls floating in a mostly empty area. So it's kind of weird. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. I'll take it. How about the system itself? This is Cora's nav point. There it is. 
at some point it starts to feel a little weird that there's always uh, you scan every single planet once and there's also always exactly one thing you can get from scanning the overall solar system. Like they're so they're strangely consistent about it. I find it slightly odd how it's like always the exact same number of scannable objects. Probes launched. Anomaly found. More experience. From a river. You found a river somewhere. Congrats. I think that's all we're getting. Yeah, that's all we're getting there. Just the ability to get the uh, basic bio of the planet. And whoop. Yeah, we're done here. This looks dangerously like a, uh, I've got the high ground type of planet. Let's see, who are the top people I should bring on the Asari arc? I would say... PB and Korra. It's probably a decent setup to make this kind of interesting. Hopefully. We're approaching the nav points Korra found. Something's there. It might be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't helping. Sam, help out with sensors. Hard to believe the Lucinia could survive in all this. Why would the Asari Ark be here? Might be lost, or looking for something. Sarissa will have plans for those decimation hunters. Wrote the manual on crisis situations. The commando you mentioned. You still believe she'll save the day? Sarissa was a legend even before she was the Pathfinder's bodyguard. She'll have a plan. Aha! Detecting an initiative vessel. Reading life signs... ...and minimal power... ...multiple hull breaches... ...she's a wreck. If she's spaceworthy and her crew's alive... That's all we need. Callow, take us in. I'll try. Must be one docking bay still holding together. And so we're on the Ark, huh? Interesting how it's treated like a loyalty mission, just because it's like straight up like one of the primary goals of the entire initiative is to get these crews together and go on these missions. But it's like, yes, it's the loyalty mission for that specific crew member. Just feels like an odd way to contextualize it. So we're done with Annihilation. I guess I go down throw. I still switch to it sometimes. In fact, I think it's equipped right now. Should switch back. Let's see. So mo bonus damage and force or increased radius. Radius could be fun, especially for detonations. If I pull a bunch of enemies into a sh uh, singularity, that could affect the, the uh, overall detonation radius. That could be interesting. I'll go with that for now. Thankfully, there is just a straight-up respec location. Uh, let's re-equip charge. There we go. I should have the next rank. Yep, rank 5. Now we're at a pretty significant bonus to biotic force and damage and area of effect and duration and so on across the board. There we go. Next one's going to be 232 ranks in biotics. Jeez. Diminishing returns there. Oops. So at this point, putting more points into biotics for the sake of the uh, profiles leveling up is pretty much unreasonable because of how far away the next one is. The main thing that comes to mind, though, is that the more points I put in, the more all of these things go up. So while the, uh, well, I'm not gonna level up my profile anytime soon, still, every, all of my passives and stats go up every time I put points in, which, they get a decent percentage. Look at this, 41% biotic power damage. Is that more than I get from my profile? Is damage not even here? 
area of, area of effect damage, technically, but that's not the same thing. Let's see, biotic effect duration. Let's compare that. That's probably one of my effects I have. 26% biotic effect duration, so I think it's bigger for my profile than for my skills. Yeah, still significant bonus. So I, I still I still have a benefit for spamming biotics if I want to. Korra has 22 points already, huh? And PB has 18. Dang. I feel like I just used these characters and they're already so far behind again. Alright. Melee damage or blasts weaker enemies back, or melee damage and melee force. Let's do blast weaker enemies back. Don't really have much faith in your meleeing in general. Was that a melee? It's a, yeah, it's a melee no matter what, I guess. Shotgun damage and force and bonus versus armor, or power, power force, power radius. Let's go for bonus versus armor. I like I like having that ability. I'm actually going to save your remaining points because I can go max out your two passives the moment we finish this mission. We'll unlock those. PB. Can go down duelist. Power, damage, and force. Or recharge speeds. Let's make them more powerful. Radius and force or weapon stuff. Let's do let's focus on powers with my bi with the was probably the lead biotic character of the crew. Let's see. When PB's shields drop, her her barrier explodes, impacting nearby enemies. So this does, this does AOE damage over 5 meters. Or, when PB uses the power to take down an enemy, she and her allies regain shields. Let's go for that. I want to get I want to get restored by my party members if I can. That sounds like good news. Let's take We're a look aboard. around. Any response to comms? Nothing. Maybe their sensors are busted. What a mess. No one sweeps up for guests anymore. Might be salvageable. Hello? Anyone? We're here to help. Great. Just advertise where we are. That's the point, PB. It is true. They are specifically trying to... The records indicate these banners were presented at to Luisinia at her departure by the Atana Policia. Policia? <laughs> They're not easy words. A group of high priestesses from across the Asari Republics. It's locked down. No, it's out of power. The debris appears to have collapsed during an interior firefight. So the, maybe the cat boarded the ship? Beginning decompression! Die, you cat monsters! We're not cat, we're a Pathfinder team! Ryder, Lieutenant Harper, and... But Sam, just send her our agent codes. Confirmed. Sorry. I'm Captain Atondra, of what's left of the Lucinia. Come up to the bridge. Maybe you can help fix this mess. What's left of the Asari at this point, so then? Jumpy. It'd be, it would suck if they used these arcs as an excuse to greatly diminish the alien presence in, in this game and future games. So hopefully there's a decent chunk of the Asari left. So far, not the best signs. This area saw combat action. No bodies, though. Whatever happened left the captain a little trigger happy. If the Tempest looked like this, how would you feel? Bridge crew, true, uh, two out of seven. Maintenance crew, zero out of 20. Security team, t security team, two, zero to 15. Medical team, zero to 17. Engineering team, zero to 12. So there's two bridge crew and nothing else left, apparently. Uh, systems critically understaffed. Advised against civilian stasis revival. So the civilians are still in stasis. There's just no one to man the ship, so they're just keeping them frozen. Okay. Override authorization, Theris S. Comment, Families First, Sam. Immediately, Pathfinder. They let somebody else on purpose, regardless.
power distribution efficiency, 9%. Drive core offline, 83% life for support function. So at least that's still going on. As whole impacts, maintenance issues, usual. Not the usual, but we what you would kind of gather from just looking around. But you'd vent a Pathfinder team into space? Respectfully, yes. We can't take any more chances. <clears throat> Sarissa Theris, Pathfinder. Don't mind the captain. Scolding me eases her blood pressure. Cora here thought the famous Sarissa would have everything in hand. I thought Matriarch Ashara was Pathfinder, ma'am, and you were her bodyguard, like her Tiamna. I served with Asari Commandos, ma'am. Memorized all your battle manuals. Matriarch Ashara is dead. Sarissa was next in line. Her battle manuals haven't kept the cat off my ark. What happened? Why are the cat after you? Matriarch Ashara died trying to negotiate with those cat bastards. So I took something precious from them, too. I stole a module containing tactical data, all their secret routes through this phenomenon. We call it the Scourge, ma'am. If we could outmaneuver the Ket through it... We'd stand a better chance against them. Their Archon had the same thought. He sent his elite agent, the Valiant, and his decimation hunters after us. We take more damage each time we escape the Valiant. The last assault? He sent forces to board us. Sarissa's theft has made things problematic. How many borders are we talking about? We're not sure, but for now, they're contained down there. We couldn't do more. We spent our resources evacuating civilians. The Valiant wants Sarissa to pay. Pathfinders have to take risks, Captain. I've taken my share. God has preserved me. What would it take to get the Ark out of here before this Valiant catches up again? An FTL burn long enough to lose him. But since the evacuation, we've been stuck at minimal power. The drive core is dead. My people are investigating, but those systems are below deck, with the Ket borders. Another Pathfinder team could back them up. Get power for the drive core, and my Sam and I will finish deciphering the Ket data. We'll turn the Valiant's escape routes against him. <laughs> First rule, always know your escape plan. The last commando report came from hangar control. I'll give you access. Please be careful. All right, let's go through a copy of basically the planet we were on in the first place. Not the planet, the uh, the ship we came in on. Ooh. You okay, Cora? Pathfinders take risks. They really do. Matriarch Ashara, your father. We roll the dice and... Hey, sometimes we win. Come on, the sooner we find those commandos, the better. This is neat. I'm not really used to being... seeing this thing move. Are we gonna get a level out of this? Or, oh, it looks like we arrived at the destination just without lo the whole loading screen part. Was it this quiet when the Arcs were traveling through dark space? Quieter. They weren't busted up back then. The Lucinia will be back to normal once we get her to the Nexus. You think about these, these, these ships were all serene and silent for 600 years until we started screwing everything up. Anchor control, maintenance log, something, 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 something. Investigate the re repeated false alarms from hangar doors after reinstall. Not a false alarm, silo door, silo door. Someone overrode the hangar doors. Then, try to seal them in a hurry. Indecisive, hmm? I thought it was false alarms, but it was probably the cat. Here we are. Hangar control. Hey, look. We might have a friend. Must be part of Sarissa's team. Stop. In the name of the goddess, I'll... Shoot your rescuers. Rescuers? And humans? Your Ark made it? Just about. I'm Ryder, the Human Pathfinder. This is my team. 
I'm Vidaria Damali, Sarissa's new second in command. T sorry about the mix up. I hope I can help. The captain says we need to restore power to go to FTL. Right, yes. I've tracked the power drain, and I think shutting the hangar bay doors will fix it. The cat forced the doors open, and the safeties are draining power trying to shut them. Why keep the hangar bays open? There's no ships around. I think the cat are trying to reach the bridge. Cat can survive in vacuum for a little while. If we shut the doors, the Valiant's pet hunters lose their last escape route too. I pray the power will be enough for FTL, I just... Vidaria, I served as a huntress. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Breathe, purpose, action. Breathe. <sighs> okay. Please take a look at the console. I'll keep watch. Starting hangar door closure sequence. We've got this. Cover the Try console while Sam works. Nice steady fire. Yes, ma'am. Whoopsie. 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 Well, this is going smoothly at the second. Oh, I went too far away from its radius. Oh. Well, that means I don't get to be all tactical and bounce around and do this the fun part of the combat, which is the moving part. <laughs> I just have to hang out in one spot. But I equipped charge for these guys. I guess I'll just sit here and see if they come after me. Hello. Mistake. There we go. Back to hiding. Gotcha. Gotcha. That was an interesting ragdoll there. Whoopsie. I can probably make do with that. Boink. There's a combo. Why is that an invalid target exactly? There we go. Don't tell me which targets are invalid. Whoa, you're go- Wow, how fast was she just going? Whoa! Bad times. I think I can take care of you. Almost. Headshots aren't fatal in this game for some reason. Boink. There you go. Okay, that should have done it. So where's our damn power for FTL? The Daria? Let's ask her. Whoa. Rumble What's happened. That? I estimate that several of the arc's electrical junctions just overloaded. Shit! Vidaria? Vidaria, Sam says we lost some electrical junctions. I know. The overload started a fire. Damn it! That shouldn't have happened! Be calm, soldier. What could have made him overload? If... If there's something else draining power on the lower decks, as something big... Maybe the decimation hunters rigged something up. I wouldn't put it past those wretches. Those cats... They must be watching us. If they delay the repairs long enough, the Valiant ship catches up. Can we flash some lights, make some noise, get the kid off our backs? Well, splitting up would give them two targets, right? Okay. First thing is the last stasis pods. I'll go check on them. You could go below, look for whatever's draining power, and maybe help with the fire? Which way to the lower decks? Uh, the living quarters. I'll open maintenance access. You can cut through. Good luck. May the cat wither in the void before you. Well, that's a neat sounding line. May the may the cat wither in the void before you. Ryder, it's Sarissa. 
We got some power, then a damage report. What happened? An accident. We're fixing it. All right. Go forward. We'll keep prepping the drive core. We won't let you down, ma'am. Of course not, Lieutenant. Sirissa out. Oh, they gave you every type of recovery you need. There we go. Ugh, it's pitch black down here. Watch your step. That's a dead end. We can go around. Someone's personal quarters, I think? What is it? What the heck? Is it a shrine to a someone who died, perhaps? It's just like this giant pile of, uh... I don't know. There's a helm, there's playing cards. Andromeda Initiative playing cards. A pouch, two guns, tons of data pads, ammo. What's this? The nameplate says Matriarch Ishara. The Pathfinder who died. That answers that question. Did you know Matriarch Ashara? Only by reputation. She was a diplomat, very wise and respected. And the cat took her away. Oh, it must be eating Sarissa up inside. Madeira here. I'm almost at the stasis pods. Ah, blasted. No power for elevators. Vidaria, cut the elevator's mag locks. If the arc's like ours, you can climb down the shaft. Good idea. Thanks, ma'am. I'm gonna some assume that the arc is in fact like ours, because it seems to be literally a copy, but like, disheveled instead. Although our arc should be pretty disheveled, because literally everything would have floated around when uh, the gravity cut out. This holographic coloring book is set to a simple image of a farm. Someone has scribbled in colors and drawn Thessian animals. Scrawls on one side read, My farm. Plant seeds, watering can, feed them lots of hay. Mommy says we have to go on a ship again. Mommy says I have to be brave. I don't want to be brave, I want to be a farmer. Well now you're probably dead, so there. <laughs> Childcare rotation in response to... To the Ark, emergency child care from Thanamis to Jotra. Forward to anyone not on the main list. Bayless, I can take the twins and Moa tonight. We're cra we're camped by the emergency lighting, so Moa uh, Moya will have her nightlight. Jodiri, because the Tecastus and Zaili got called for evac early, there's leftover cleanup supplies and food in the red cooler. Remember, if you need diaper bags, there's sterile cleanup bags in the washroom cabinets. Break the locks if you have to. Day 10. Still going strong. Thana. Goodbyes. To the Ark from Rodera Fieris. Making the big jump soon. Leaving all my love and best wishes. Go ahead and share out my stasis locker. Can't take it. Can't worry about it. We'll find help. Promise. Rodera X. What was going on here exactly? They were rotating around children and child care. But no one's here ultimately. Okay, so this is like a spot that's completely filled with beds they would have been resting on. Sure. So they must have been woken up already and probably dealing with the cat while dealing with their emergency situation and they were trying they were finding a way to live on here but what they evacuated or something or did they all go back in their pods? Why would there be a fire here? Like specifically here. So there were so many people crammed in waiting hearing the emergency alarms the cat did that to them are they all dead or not or did they evacuate somewhere what's happening to the ark all from sarissa theris you're out of stasis because you were needed on deck early unfortunately you now need to adapt to a living a very different scenario than what was expected to avoid rumors spreading this is the situation we are under attack by a hostile species Diplomatic overture, uh, overtures were rejected and will not be repeated. 
Regrettably, our matriarch Ishara died attempting negotiations. I have reluctantly taken on her role as Pathfinder, but cannot replace her. We must deviate from our intended course and attempt to lose the enemy before our rendezvous with the Nexus. With Captain Atandra's approval, I am authorized a general evacuation order as we revive civilians. Meanwhile, commando forces and our survey ship, the Parafona, will perform necessary diversionary actions. We now know that the Parafona is very, very blown up. I will not understate the seriousness of our position. I won't underestimate your skills either. I have faith in you. S. Theris, Pathfinder. <laughs>